than this? Where could she be? Oh, you know how Conade is. Always late for the events that actually matter. Like her own engagement ball, for goodness sake. You don't think she's facing some type of holdup? Maybe she's lost or stuck in an elevator or something. Tch. Funny. Her habits of arriving late and ditching wouldn't stop for anyone. Even for her new, rich, and flashy fiancé. Oh, goodness. Her mother will be furious if she doesn't arrive soon. Ugh. Watch where you're going. Seriously. This blouse was handmade in Italy by the best, most exclusive designers. You're sorry. Seriously, how do you expect to pay for this? With your pathetic waiter job here, you wouldn't be able to pay for this top with a year of your paychecks. I... Wait. You look really familiar. <laughs> Scholarship kid! Hey, get a load of this. Scholarship kid from our school's working at Conaday's engagement ball. What, is infiltrating our academy with your off-brown clothing and knock-off school supplies not enough for you? You have to try to sneak your way into our parties, too. <sighs> she made it. Wow, the infamous Conaday showed up. Fantastic. Watch, waiter. I wouldn't expect another pathetic paycheck with the conversation I'm about to have with your boss. And the star of today's ball, my daughter, Conaday. Welcome, my dearest. Although you are late, I'm sure most of us are later to be here to honor your new engagement. Thank you, mother. And everyone else for honoring me with your presence. As my mother mentioned, I apologize for my tardiness to this very meaningful event. I thought I was dressing up for my engagement ball, but seeing the questionable attire here today, I should have dressed for a mere cocktail party. Conaday, how rude of you to say that to our guests. I'm sorry, everyone, for my daughter is not herself. Teenagers, you all know how they are. I assure everyone here, I didn't raise my daughter to be like this. For once you're right, mother. You didn't raise me. You didn't raise me at all. You were never there. Never around when I needed you, and certainly not there to teach me what was right and what was wrong. Conaday! And now you're expecting me to marry some snobbish, entitled boy I have no relations to? Mother, no. Have you all lost your minds? Marrying your children off for the purpose of financial gain is sick! <sighs> Everyone, I reject the marriage proposed by the park conglomerate. Besides, I already have a lover. What? No way! Now this is getting interesting. Preposterous! Who in the world is this man, young lady? I demand to know. My fiancé. My lover. It's that man. Over there. You? I- <laughs> Kinda days with scholarship, kid? I- What? Everyone, calm down. This isn't the truth. This is utterly catastrophic, young lady. Follow me. And you too. Yes, you. Hey, I'm really sorry I got you all caught up in this. Quiet. You talk when you would talk to. You know that much, Conaday. So, Conaday, why don't you explain your pretentious outburst? You've humiliated me and our company in front of the most influential people in the business today. All for what? So you can prove a point? Are you two even truly dating? Or was that an excuse to get away from the marriage? I... It's this boy telling the truth, Conaday. You've been dating for some time now? I... Um... Yes. He's right. He's my boyfriend. We've been dating for a couple months now. Is that so? Is your little boyfriend here coming to help our business at all? What does he bring to the table? Mother, it's not always about... About what? Stop being selfish and consider your mother's feelings, Conaday. The marriage could bring us so many new opportunities. Stop being emotional and think logically. <sighs> if anything, mother, you should start thinking logically. I... I love this man beside me, with everything within me. Logically, why would I give that up for a man I hardly know? Conaday? No. No. We're just gonna go in circles talking like this. I never even agreed to the marriage, and you had the audacity to hold an engagement ball? I'm... We're leaving. Come on, babe. Let's go. Tell the guests to enjoy the party without me. 
Honaday? Run. Honaday? You come back, you young lady. <sighs> I think we're safe now. Sorry, my mother is a bit much. Hey, is everything all right? Hmm? Why did I pick you? What do you mean? Oh, I see. Why did I pick you to be my pretend boyfriend out of all the eligible bachelors at the ball? Well, to be honest, I recognize you. You recognize me as well, don't you? We both go to the same school. The prestigious Quince Academy of Arts. <sighs> what a joke. See? I knew it. You're that super smart kid on scholarship, right? Oh, that's super cool. I've always wanted to be smart. Growing up, I was nothing but average when it came to my grades. Oh, right. Sorry. I didn't answer your question about why I picked you yet. That room. It was filled with people who have been handed everything they've ever wanted on a silver platter. I hate it. I picked you because I recognized you as my classmate on scholarship for the most prestigious school in the country. Someone who worked for what they wanted and didn't just get a free pass from their parents' money and influence. Those people who attended my party, they... They don't truly know how hard life can be for certain people. How would I know? There's a lot more to me than meets the eye, handsome. I may appear to have been sheltered my entire life, but... But that isn't the case. Anyways, I've got somewhere to be. So, thank you. For going along with it. I'm definitely going to need your services as my false fiancé. So here, my number on the back of this paper... We definitely gotta work out the details of whatever this is. Anyways, gotta go. I'll see you at school tomorrow, fiancé. And when she dumped popcorn all over him? Can you believe that he had the actual nerve to call his side chick in front of his girlfriend at the movie theater? Yeah, and we got to witness it all. If I was being honest, I was probably watching them argue more than the actual movie itself. I guess you're right. Better she found out now than later. Hmm? Yeah, all my friends and family are completely eating up the pictures I post on Instagram. Our plan of convincing people we're a real couple is working. Listen, I know these dates aren't actually real dates, but I really had fun today. Truly. Whenever you're around, I feel like I can act like my true self. I don't have to be concerned about my reputation as an heiress of a prominent company. So thank you for being by my side. We should pick up the pace? Yeah, you're right. Wouldn't want to be late. Hmm? My mother? Uh, what about her? Oh, you're worried if I've been punished for my whole rebellion at my engagement ball. <sighs> Don't worry. My mother has threatened to take away some of my things, but she hasn't actually done anything. That woman is all bark and no bite. She's afraid that if she punishes me too harshly, I'll leak it to someone and damage her company's reputation. Which I would never do, but... <sighs> I don't care what my mother thinks about me. I didn't care before, and I certainly don't care now. What exactly happened between us? That's, uh, that's a story for another time. Is that Kanade with her new fiancé? No way, is that actually them? It is. Can you believe that Kanade turned down James Park's marriage proposal? The Park conglomerate is like crazy rich. If James proposed to me, I would have accepted in a heartbeat. But can you blame her? Her new fiancé may not be rich, but he's serious eye candy. 
They're talking about us, aren't they? <sighs> You're right. With the way I dramatically announced our engagement, it would be weird if people weren't talking about it. Thanks. You always know how to ease any situation. And we're here. I got chemistry in Building 7. What about you? Ah, you got advanced classes at Building 1? I guess this is where we part ways. See you later, fiancé. All right, class, settle down. Today, we'll be going over what exactly was the catalyst that launched World War I, and how it has affected our society today. Oh? Oh, Mr. James Park. Late again? Is my class just an option to you? I just woke up late, Siege. Not really that big a deal. I get to decide what's a big deal, young man. Sit down, James. Next to scholarship, kid? I don't think so. I indeed think so. Sit. So, how exactly did World War I start? There were many events that led to the beginning of yeah. the war. Yeah, my name's James Park. There was one main event that really was the catalyst. World War I, also known as the Great War, Began in yes, my father is the president of the park conglomerate. What of it? His murder catapulted into a war across Europe that lasted until 1918. The total number what? Of military and How did you know I used to be engaged to Kanade? The ball was exclusive. No poor kid like you could ever dream of attending. Wait, you look familiar. Are you a MeTuber or influencer or something? I swear I've seen you somewhere online before. Mr. Park, would you like to share your conversation with the rest of the class? No, Teach. Review the questions I've assigned on page 40 to 46. And don't forget the report due Tuesday, latest, 11.59. Don't forget. I swear I've seen scholarship kids somewhere online before. Wait. Are you the kid dating Kanade and posting pictures all around social media with her? The one who stole my fiance? Kanade left me for garbage like you. You couldn't even afford tuition to this school. It's funny that you even think that you're a match for her. Who knows? Maybe she took pity with you and decided to take your sad self under her wing. What? Me? Jealous? You're kidding. Why would I be jealous of you? I, I bet you blackmail Kanade. There's no way she would ever turn down marrying the heir to the park conglomerate for a beggar like you. What did you say? That it's not your fault she likes you better? Take that back. Right now. Whatever. Kanade may be a hot chick, but there are plenty of girls cuter than she'll ever be. Did you know that her dad left her? If her own dad didn't think she was worth staying around for, I doubt she was anything worthwhile. Did you just hit me? You? What is going on here? James, hands off my fiancé. James Park. Although we're nothing but acquaintances, I really believed I was dodging a bullet by choosing to not marry you. Turns out I was right. Don't come any closer. For the sake of our company's business relations, I advise you stay away from my fiancé. Whatever. What does this loser have over me, huh? He doesn't have any social status, connections. His family runs a pastry shop. He can't even afford the school tuition. Me and you, we're the same type of people. 
We were born with privilege, prestige, and responsibilities. He would never understand our world. Oh, I think he understands our world pretty well. You're right. He is none of the things you've listed. Yeah, he's still twice the man you'll ever be. You... Whatever. I'd be watching my back from now on, scholarship kid. Kanade won't always be there to protect you. <sighs> I'm really sorry you had to deal with that. I don't actually know James too well, but I guess the rumors of him being a bit much are true. I know you can take care of yourself, silly. I entered right on time to see you smack him. I really was impressed by you today. Nice job, fiancé. But you may want to be careful of who you hit, especially at this school. Who knows who might sue you, or worse. You're lucky it was James, though. I doubt he'll want to go around telling people he got hit by his ex fiance's new boyfriend. Hmm? If I knew you could handle it, why did I intervene? Well, it's not that I didn't trust you with it. I just couldn't take the way he was talking to my fiancé any longer. If you say so, come on. We should probably pack up our things and head home. Hey, have you heard about spring prom that's coming up? Yeah. They're holding it at one of the hotels my mother owns this year. My mother's assistant let me in on a little secret, and apparently they're getting VTS to perform. Awesome, right? I already prepared the dress I'm going to wear. <sighs> if only a handsome boy asks me out. Huh? I was just joking. No, no, I... I want to go with you. Thanks for asking. You know, when I first took the leap and declared you as my fiancé in front of everyone, I really questioned myself in the beginning. I'm the type of person to really think through things, so me acting the way I did at the ball, it surprised everyone, myself even. But there hasn't been one moment where I've regretted it. Thank you. Oh, shut up. I wasn't trying to be all corny and stuff. Seriously, stop laughing. <laughs> hey, handsome. Oh, the dress? Thank you. I helped design the dress with the help of designers at Coco Chanel. You don't look too shabby yourself, fiancé. Ah, uh, yes. We should head down. Just a moment. Yeah, it is cool, isn't it? Although this is my mother's hotel, I've never actually been here before yesterday. Who knew they would have a whole waterfall in the lobby? I wonder how they pulled off building that. No, don't worry. My mother isn't actually staying in the hotel with us. She had some business she had to attend to in France, so she's not even currently in the country. <sighs> Freedom at last, right? Yeah, um... I've been staying at a friend's recently. You know the day James confronted you at the academy? Yeah. Well, since that day, I've been staying at one of my art club's friend's places. Uh, why? Well, when I arrived home, my mother finally told me that she wouldn't force me to marry James. She told me she saw all the photos online, and I thought she was finally considering my happiness. The only reason she told me that was so she could bring up the topic of another engagement. 
to this 50-year-old tycoon. Can you believe that? You really think so? <sighs> Thanks again. You always know what to say. Wait, I almost forgot to ask. You heard about James' expulsion, right? Yeah, apparently someone took a video of you and James's, um, how do I put this, encounter, and it went viral online. Mm-hmm. Son of influential park conglomerate group caught bullying classmate, they called it. And, yeah, he got expelled. Kind of surprising that the media would take it like that since you punched him, but, I mean, better for you, I guess. Yep, you guessed it. Even if James's dad poured buckets of cash into the school, Quinn's Academy wouldn't hesitate to separate themselves from what they deem a problem that could affect their reputation. You're right. He did deserve it. I... I actually heard that his parents cut his trust fund in half because of the incident. Apparently, their stocks plummeted after the whole thing spread online like a wildfire. Okay, okay, you're right. We wouldn't want to spoil this night talking about him. <laughs> you're too funny. Oh yeah, congrats on acing that physics test the other day. I'm impressed. Highest in our grade. <sighs> you're going to have to tutor me next time. I've been failing miserably. Who knows if I'll even pass into the next grade. Seriously, I wish I could be half as smart as you. I'm fine just the way I am. I, um, thank you. Hmm, I think it's on the 30th floor? Left from the basketball court and across the spa. Yep, floor 30. What do you think you're doing, Mr. Fiancé? <laughs> You really think that little trick on me would work? Yes, you can hold my hand. And we're here. Yes, I'm sure I want to go on holding your hand. Why wouldn't I be sure? I mean, thank you for being considerate for me, but the last thing I'll ever do is second-guess being with you. We've spent enough time together to trust each other, right? So please, put some trust in me. Thank you. Am I ready? <laughs> Anywhere if it's with you. Esteemed guests, welcome to the Quince Academy Spring Prom- Oh, it's just you, Kanade. Need no welcome to your family's own hotel, do you? Nice to see you too, Kyoko. I thought being a downer was something you only did at school, from stress, maybe. But I guess you do that everywhere you go, huh? Sorry, your highness. Welcome to the party. I'll need to check both of your student passes before you continue. Got to make sure no one unqualified comes in and wrecks our night. Here. Yours too, scholarship kid. Please, come in. Wow, cool venue they got here. What's this room called? Rose Ballroom? Definitely fitting, with the way they decorate the whole thing head to toe in flowers. Oh look, a photo booth. Let's go take pictures later, okay? Hmm? You want to what? Dance? You want to dance here, in front of everyone?
Um, well, I don't really know how to dance. Yeah, no. I didn't actually grow up with the whole fancy education thing like the other kids here. Horse riding? Etiquette lessons? Ballroom dancing? I've gotten by knowing the bare minimum, I... I know. You said you would wait for whenever I was ready to tell you about my past, and I'm really grateful for that. You're a really awesome guy, you know? And I won't make you wait much longer. I promise. <laughs> Again, thanks. I'll go get us some mocktails. Don't move, handsome. I'll be right back. Wait, that's him, isn't it, boss? He looks just like the photo you showed us. There that little scumbag is. Remember me, scholarship kid? <laughs> Thought so. You're coming with us. How do I look? Perfect, sir. You emanate bad guy intensely. I'm even slightly scared of you. Perfect. Can you pat on my chin? I may be bent on revenge, but I don't have to be oily while doing it. Of course, sir. Of course. Okay, okay. Is everything good? Go ahead. You can take his gag off. Oh, well, well, well. Look who we have here. What scholarship, kid? Is Conaday no longer around to protect your sorry little ass? Oh, quit acting all tough. You're nothing without her. And you know it. And I thought you were the smartest kid at school. Yet you want to say something so brazen like that. Call me a coward for ganging up on you with a bunch of guys one more time. And I'll- Boss, calm down. Any louder and someone might hear us. Don't tell me what to do. What? You're curious about that, of all things? How did I get in without my student pass if I was expelled? Well, scholarship kid, money is more powerful than you realize. And it can do anything, if you have enough of it. But you probably don't know that, do you? Alright, why are you here? <laughs> well... I know your little secret. What do I mean? <laughs> I know that you and Conaday aren't actually dating. That it's a stupid publicity stunt. Just so she gets away from her mother's control. Why? Because. I. Want. To. Ruin. Her. You heard me, right? That bitch took everything from me. My reputation, my parents' trust, even half of my goddamn trust fund. I want you to confess right here and now. While my little buddy records over there. That Conaday threatened you into a fake relationship. Maybe I am sick, but I'm wealthy, and everything you'll never be. Wrong again, James. Really? Kidnapping? I thought you were at least better than that. How did you- I find you? James, my mother owns this hotel. You think I would have access to the security cameras? Hmm, talking about security. Escort him out. Are you okay? You don't look like they laid a hand on you. I was so worried. I'm not crying, okay? Here, stand up. Let's get back inside. Ugh, 
<sighs> Still acting like a gentleman even in this situation? Yes, I'm okay. Now that you're here. <sighs> I'm so pissed though. We totally miss VTS's performance. Hmm? Well, when I noticed you weren't where you were before I left to get drinks, I really didn't think much of it. Maybe you left to go get food or something. But I knew something was up when you weren't anywhere in the ballroom. That's why it took so long to find you. Trying to find a single person in a sea of hundreds of students isn't easy. But when I finally realized you weren't in the room, I called head of security to check the cameras. And lucky me, you were spotted with that scumbag James outside in the gardens. Me too. I was so relieved to find you. If something happened to you, I... I wouldn't know what to do. Glad to hear it. Ah, uh, well, a certain someone owes me a dance. <laughs> If only a handsome boy would ask me out to the dance floor. Yes, I'm sure. I may not know how to properly ballroom dance like the other students here, but why should that stop me from having a good time? I want to have this moment with you. And who are my bad dancing skills to stop me? So, how about a fiancé? <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. Isn't it strange how we ended up here? I mean, how lucky was it that you happened to be working in my engagement ball? That you also went to my school? And were someone who was willing to go along with this peculiar girl's plan? I mean, I could have chosen anyone to ask to be my fake fiancé. Yet, my eyes were drawn to you. The gorgeous boy in the corner who didn't seem a one bit impressed by all the fancy decorations. <sighs> Destiny really is a thing, isn't it? You... want to ditch this place? Come on, there's a balcony on that side of the room. I... I think I'm ready to tell you. Of course I'm sure. You've helped me so much, and I trust you. I want you to know all of me. Not just the confident girl who declared you as her fiancé, or the brave girl who wasn't afraid to talk back to her ex in front of the class. I want you to know the bad stuff too. Because, like I said, I trust you. You're ready to listen? Okay. Well, as I said before, I didn't exactly grow up in the lap of luxury. My mother, the one who owns this hotel, well, she isn't my biological mother. Yep, she's my stepmom. She married my father when I was seven or eight. I don't exactly remember, but my father wasn't the most well-off man. We would go town to town for his jobs, him constantly getting hired then fired again. I remember never having any true friends because we were always moving. Thank you, but no. My father and I didn't have a bad relationship. But we didn't have a good one either, if that makes sense. He was my father, and I respected him for that. But I could tell by the way he talked to me, the way he treated me, that he was only keeping me around because I was born from the woman he once loved. But when my father met my stepmother through a friend of his, I think that was the first time I ever saw him truly smile. Not the type of fake smile you plaster on your face when a stranger asks you a question but a true, genuinely joyful smile. So, when they got married, it didn't matter to me that I didn't like my new stepmother. I... I just wanted my father to be happy. James told you that? Ah, <sighs> well, that does sound like him. Going around and telling other people secrets. Well, he's not wrong. My father did leave me. I don't exactly remember when, but there was a point when my father couldn't take the life of riches and responsibilities. Being constantly watched and making news headlines when you make a singular mistake. He... 
he couldn't take it anymore. So, he left. Life of prestige and wealth. And me. <sighs> After my dad was gone, my stepmother wanted nothing to do with me. With one singular phone call, I was cast into the world of foster care, moving house to house. Why did she bring me back? Well, she had a son from her last marriage. He was a lot older than me, so he didn't live in the house with the three of us. But apparently, just like my father, he too grew sick of this life, and poof! My mother didn't have an heir. She was her parents' only child, and refused to give the coming to her uncles, because of pride, probably. But yeah, as long as I learned the ways of the company and didn't upset her too much, I was allowed to be her daughter. Which isn't going too well right now, but I don't regret a thing. After all, all the stuff in my past, it led me to you. <sighs> Listen, I... I like you. Like, for real. And I was wondering if... <laughs> you can't let me have a moment of glory, can you? Now we're going to have to tell everyone that you asked me to be your girlfriend first. What? We're dating for real? Well, this feels like a dream. Thank you for staying by my side. I... I'm so lucky. So lucky that it was you.